Mm. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to a what I eat thing. I love to share these because I love to show the realistic side of what I eat every single day. Sometimes I'm super hungry. Sometimes I'm not so hungry. And that is what it is. You know, I don't eat to maintain certain calories every single day because my body needs different things on a daily basis and that is totally okay and valid. And the basis of intuitive eating is listening to yourself every single damn day and fueling your body accordingly. So we got lots of fun recipes, lots of yummy meals and some failures in here as well. And that is what it is. Sometimes you try new things and it doesn't really work out, but hey, life. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and let's get on to the food. Hey, what you talk so this morning I was feeling some oats and I typically only crave oats in the winter time or the cooler months or cooler days, but for whatever reason, I was jamming them this morning. So I just cooked them over the stove, just half of a cup in some water until they were nice and creamy and delicious. I then added some vanilla protein powder and some ashwagandha. I absolutely love cycling in ashwagandha every couple months because it is just so good for one, your overall health and managing your stress. So I cannot recommend it enough. However, we topped our oats with some frozen blueberries that we warmed up over the stove along with some almonds and some walnuts and of course the one and the only favorite fruit of most people, the banana. Oh, I'm So for lunch, I was feeling something easy, which was leftovers. And if you guys do not eat your leftovers, I don't know what you're doing. How did I know this one was going to be gorgeous? How did I know that? Huh? I don't know. This recipe is at the end of last week's What I Eat in a Week video, so definitely go check that out if you are craving it and think it looks delicious. I then just added half of an avocado on top and enjoyed. So I ran around and did some errands today and then when I got home I was feeling on the ball. I was like, you know what? Let's move and groove with this day. Let's get it and let's get a head start on dinner. I don't know if anyone can relate to this, but when you get a head start on dinner, it's such a vibe. You're like, I am so productive. So I peeled and chopped a butternut squash, oiled that pan, threw the butternut squash in in it in in top of it is what I was going to say, in top of it. Topped it with some salt and some pepper and then baked that into the into the oven. Gave it a good toss to make sure all of the pieces were covered in oil and then baked it in the oven for about 45 minutes or so at 375 degrees. Come on. What a fail. Oh, that was such a fail. Oh my God. And you may notice that my voice is a little nasally right now and that is just because I got a little sick after this video was filmed and you'll see it in next week's What I Eat in a Week video. I feel fine. I just got this nasally voice right now, unfortunately. So, so sorry that you have to listen to me like this, but kind of is what it is. Anyways, we threw our cooked butternut squash into our blender along with a whole bunch of spices. I can write the full recipe down below. And then I also added some leftover cashew cream sauce in this as well, along with a bunch of water and some turmeric and some cinnamon. So this was kind of more like a very warming type of sauce with the turmeric and the cinnamon and I added ginger in it as well. Mm. After I had the sauce ready, I just hung out for a little while until I got hungry and then I cooked up some pasta, just some tri-colored pasta and some salt water. Obviously, salt your water, guys. 
Although my mom oils the water and it, it actually works. So maybe oiling your water is, is good too, I guess. Anyways, I threw my pasta into my bowl along with some leftover roasted chickpeas and my sauce and just gave it a good old mix. And that was my super simple dinner. So this morning I was feeling a hot chocolate and hot chocolate is a love language to me. Chocolate is just a love language to me. I was feeling extra little spice so I added some peppermint oil in it as well and I cannot stress this enough, foam your milk with your french press because look at that. It is gorgeous. It's like drinking a cloud and I'm never going to stop saying that because guys it's like drinking a cloud. I don't know why I always think I can fit more in a cup than I can, but can't hurt a girl for trying. Counting the grains of sand upon the beach. Somehow that number is always out of reach. How can I tell you the way you make me feel? All of my thoughts begin and end with you. So after my little peanut butter and banana vibe, I was feeling some savory food. So I fried up some onion and some mushrooms in the frying pan. Obviously, where else would I fry them? I don't know. And then mixed in the leftover sauce with leftover pasta and some leftover quinoa as well. Topped it off with some sriracha, a little bit of lemon juice. This is actually really good. I think just because the sauce is sat overnight, all the flavors have really, really combined and like meshed together to make this beautiful harmony of like spiciness, a little bit of sweetness from the cinnamon. It's very warming. Oh, I'm loving this. Also wanna say, started my period today. Cramps are like feeling. Yeah, so it's just kind of one of those days. When I'm on my period, I think I've said this in several other videos, I'm just, not as hungry and i know so many women are the exact opposite of me they're like so hungry like all they want to do is eat all day and for me like i think just because i tend to get quite bloated on my period i don't want to feel more heavy like i already just feel so heavy and tired and like oh that like eating food is just like it kind of turns me off to be honest so i tend to eat like smaller meals and uh yeah i try to pack it with some good nutrients and like whatever and i always crave chocolate like th that's my biggest craving is chocolate on my period off my period dark chocolate is my biggest craving anyways i'm going to eat my freaking warming meal and i hope it makes me feel a little bit better because like i said my cramps are just so like i said i started my period this day and i just was not feeling life you know anyone that has a womb can probably relate to the first day of your period you're just feeling a little low whether that's because of your cramps or whether that's just because your hormones dropped and you're just feeling a little low it's all okay it's all valid so i decided to make a super simple smoothie with a banana chocolate protein powder turmeric ashwagandha all of the good things that we need for our periods and then about an hour later i was like Girl, you're still hungry, okay? You're still hungry, you still need a little snack. So I used the rest of the leftover quinoa along with some leftover red cabbage, some red onion, some fresh dill, some vegan mayo, some lemon juice, some black pepper, some Dijon mustard, and I just gave that all a good mix. And that was just a super simple little salad that I threw together and it took me like five minutes. I love that I didn't clean my stove last night. I love that for me. Well, that's the reality, you know? So I'm cooking some beans so that way I have some over the next like week. And I also have like really bad fruit flies right now. So we're hanging out with that. And we're also hanging out with one over there too. So you already know I'm on top of my hot chocolate game right now because one delicious two 
Cocoa powder is super, super high in iron, which is essential for all of you lovely people that carry a womb and that bleed every single month. I added my cocoa powder and a little bit of matcha as well for an extra caffeine kick some maple syrup and a package of lion's mane mushroom elixir and then i just foam that up in my french press as you saw and mm. oh you know what this is way more aesthetically pleasing you really make me want to fly cross my heart and hope to die lonely you're the reason mm. Okay, I literally cannot stress this enough. If you have a freaking French press and you want a foamy drink, use your French press. It's like drinking a cloud. It's freaking like, you just, you gotta do it. Mm. 10 out of 10, would recommend, am recommending, and let me know down in the comments how you like it, okay? So this morning I was feeling a little adventurous and you guys know how much I love my chickpea wraps. So it was like, why don't I try to make crepes, quote unquote, but with my chickpea wrap recipe. So I added my chickpea flour with some water, but I also added some cinnamon and some date syrup as well. And then I threw that into the frying pan with a little bit of oil and fried it up. Well, this did not work. Why is this happening again? I don't understand. Uh, I've done this a million times in this pan. And just all of a sudden, it just doesn't want to work anymore. What the hell? Oh! This is a good pan. I'm frustrated. Oh! I really wanted this. As you saw, that was a complete failure and a little bit of an embarrassment. However, I think it's because of the pan. I don't think it's because of the recipe. I think it's because of the pan. And I don't know why. Those pans are like my favorite pans ever. And I've literally never had an issue with them. But ever since this chickpea wrap, I've had an issue with it. And it makes me sad. But because I hate wasting food, I used the scraps of it and made it into this very pretty, aesthetically pleasing bowl that I think just the bowl that I put it in actually made it aesthetically pleasing, you know what I mean? But I threw some warm blueberries, some peanut butter, some hemp seeds, and some maple syrup on top, and I wasn't mad. So for a little midday snack, I was feeling a smoothie, so I added a whole bunch of mixed berries into my blender along with some vanilla protein powder and a crap ton of water. I also added some ground up chia seeds, the little bit that I had left, and enjoyed this. And the berries that I used were blackberries, blueberries, and raspberries. I can't have strawberries, so that's why I didn't use those, but if you want them, go for it. As you can tell, I'm getting my appetite back. Okay, I'm getting my appetite back. Second day, third day of the period, I started to get my appetite back. But I'd say the first like couple days before my period and then the first day of my period, not hungry. Anyways, we added some rice, some cooked sweet potato, some spinach, some kale, cucumber, red onion, red pepper, red cabbage, hemp seeds, avocado, and then we actually topped it off with an Asian inspired dressing and a little bit of sriracha because one, delicious, and two, there's no two. There's no two, there's just one, just one. From there, I went over to Veronica's house and she made me this delicious vegan pesto pizza and thank you girl so much, I freaking love you. And we just sat outside and chatted and ate a ice cream bar and it was a great night because I was with my BFF. So this morning I was feeling like my energy and my immune system needed a little kick in the butt. So I added some matcha, some cinnamon, some ginger, some ashwagandha, and some spirulina to my French press along with some cashew milk. I believe that's what I had in the house at this point in time. As you saw, that was a fail. However, the drink was still great, 
I added some maple syrup and enjoyed. For breakfast, I was feeling something more savory. And I just want to say, as I always do, there is no breakfast food, there is no lunch food, there is no dinner food, there's just food that you want to eat at any point in time in the day, okay? So if you want a savory breakfast, go for it. So I just piled in a whole bunch of fresh vegetables. We got spinach, we got kale, we got red onion, red cabbage, along with some white navy beans, some blueberries, some hemp seeds, some sauerkraut, some balsamic vinaigrette, and we topped it off with some green onion or spring onion, whatever you'd like to call it. I don't discriminate. A little bit after my breakfast, I decided to munch on some more blueberries and a banana sitting outside working on my laptop. And then we needed some lunch. We needed some lunch. So I chopped up a bunch of kale, bok choy, minced some ginger and some garlic, added that to the frying pan along with some oil, some tamari, threw my kale in there. Needed a touch more oil because it, it just needed it, trust me. From there, we added some water and our bok choy along with some more tamari to get that flavor, get that saltiness. And mm, I just, I love tamari. Soy sauce, tamari, Asian flavors. Those are my vibes a lot of the time, not going to lie. I warmed up some leftover rice, added my kale and bok choy to my plate as well, along with a whole bunch of fresh veggies. We got some carrot, some red cabbage, and topped it off with my favorite hot sauce, sriracha, along with some delicious tahini. This tahini, guys, is so damn good. Like, it's legitimately the best tahini that I've ever had in my whole life highly recommend it i showed it in my grocery haul video and somebody commented saying that it was like the best tahini ever and you are right you are right it's not sludgy it's not chalky it's not anything but creamy deliciousness when i wake up in the middle of the night and i feel wide awake because i've got you on my mind i go walking out in the streets with the stars above me because i can't go back to sleep hey oh walking in the night with the moon and the stars they make me feel all right hey ho walking in the night because i can't get to sleep when i got you on my mind So I originally made these brownies to bring over to Veronica's. I made the batter and then I brought it over to Veronica's, but there was a little bit of complication and I couldn't end up staying the night. So I had to bring home the batter and then bake it the next day. I'll write the brownie recipe down below for you guys because these brownies, they're sweet potato brownies and they are so damn delicious okay 10 out of 10 anyways we were feeling a quick little smoothie so i added a banana some chocolate protein powder some ashwagandha some hemp seeds and a whole whack ton of peanut butter because you guys already know that's where it's at again very sorry if you're allergic to peanuts happy reps yeah. i done caught it way at a young age so this morning I was feeling a latte vibe, but it didn't really turn out the way that I wanted it because I find that that frother thing doesn't really work very well. All of these girls up in college, I like them smaller, no drama. I do find a girl, make a smile, make it happy. Get a ring, make I was feeling a savory and green breakfast today again, so I threw my kale into a bowl along with some salt and some lemon juice and massaged that kale in. Massage that kale in? You know what I'm saying. Massage that kale in... What? Mm -hmm. Anyways, we chopped up a whole bunch of parsley and threw that into our kale bowl as well. We chopped up some cucumber and some red onion and then seasoned the bowl with some more lemon juice, some pepper, and of course, some freaking delicious, creamy, mm, just mm, tahini. To make it a little more sweet, we added some blueberries. I just love adding blueberries into salad bowls. It is such a beautiful element to them. I then added some seed mix and some leftover chickpeas, some roasted chickpeas, and 
enjoyed. So today was a hot one. It's it was a real it was a real hot one. So I added a whole bunch of blair blairies blairies to my blender along with a banana, protein powder, ashwagandha, some spirulina, little splash of plant milk, little splash of water to make it this creamy smoothie bowl consistency and then topped it off with my favorite seed, the hemp seed and enjoy this sitting outside on this beautiful hot day. Have each other and live up their coconut seed. I know you love the ocean and you love the sun. We so if you guys have been hanging out for a while, you know that I make kombucha and I swear to you, there is a video coming. I filmed it. I just have not had the time to edit it. It, it will be, it'll be here soon. But anyways, I left some frozen blueberries out until they started to melt. I then added them to my bottles along with my kombucha mixture and then sealed them on off and you will see me drinking them not in next week's what I eat in a week, but the following week what I eat in a week. I haven't cracked them open yet, but I'm really, really excited to try them. I think I'm going to open them today, the day that I'm recording this voiceover. So maybe you will see them in next week's dinner. We chopped up a whole bunch of red peppers because I had one sitting in the fridge that needed to be used and a half of one that needed to be used. So I chopped up it all along with some mushrooms, some onion, and some fresh ginger or garlic is what I mean, garlic. I then added my onion to my pan, let them saute for a little while, and then added my mushrooms in there as well, along with the garlic, some salt, some pepper, and some chili flakes. I then needed some more Italian-inspired seasoning, so I added some basil and some oregano as well, and then we're making a sauce. We're making a tahini sauce. So it's kind of similar to the hummus sauces that I make, but with tahini. So I added some Dijon mustard along with my tahini, some lemon juice, and some water, and then it just gave it a really good mix. I added some rice noodles to my veggies, added the sauce, and mixed everything all on up. I know some of you probably think it's weird that I eat rice noodles like that with this type of meal, but honestly, it's really, really good. And I don't really find it that big of a difference between the other types of rice noodles that I buy. So, you know, have what you use in the house. Thanks so much for watching today, guys. It truly means the world to me. If you could just take a second and hit that like button, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button as well because it really does help my channel grow and warms my heart up, you know? I hope all of you have a beautiful rest of your day, and don't forget to drink lots of water, eat your greens, respect yourself, and maybe have a little dance party every once in a while, and I will see you again soon for lots more videos coming your way. Mwah!